Welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. We're going to continue here, moving right along. We just finished a sermon. We declared a feast. No one should be hungry now. There's no such thing as disease in this dojo. We'll try to build a janitor's closet, if possible. Can we? We still can't. We don't have enough gold bars. Man, we need some more gold bars. Yeah, we do. you guys to turn these gold nuggets into coins for yours truly. We have more than enough lumber. I guess we just don't have enough refineries. We don't have enough gold. We need more coins. That's what we really need. We need more coins. We need more coins. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to spend a run in Darkwood. Oh. More chain gets removed um, because one of our followers really, really wants us to get some camellias. And we're okay with that. War maker's hammer. What is this? What? I mean, far be it from me. Whoa! That is a big swing. I love it. So as you can see on the bottom left, LT would allow us to go ahead and go back. So, so, this is a big old boy. Dang, man. I mean, that is something else. Now, that's an attack. That is an attack. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, that's... Can I have that all the time? That is... I don't know what that is. That is something else. I'll take a black heart. Oh. We're already three camellias in. Go, oh, my children. <laughs> Alright, well, now we can swing slightly faster, which is great. Still don't know what that image means, that symbol. Let's go that way. We can get a follower. I don't really want a follower, but we could rapture them. Not algebra. <laughs> That's not his name. But <laughs> oh, it's just a tarot card. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take the 1.4 or the 1.2 damage up. Algebra has died of old age. I think it's the second time that Algebra has died. We might not be able to bring back uh, Barbatos. Barbatos. I really don't want to go back to the base until um, we've gotten all the camellias. Let's do all right, we're one away. Twenty percent more damage during the day. Well, it is the day right now. Yeah. All right, we have the camellia, so we can just we can just finish this quest now. Yeah, 
Thomas Hammer is the business. I don't know what is gonna fight us in this room, but we might we might be killing them really fast. Non-believers got cleansed. Plus 20%. Oh, we didn't take any damage, so they give us 50%. Okay, so if you take no damage during your run, you gain 50% more resources. I was happy to do it. Alright, Algebra. I hate to break it to you, sir, but I think you're not long for this world. I mean, I could always use more followers, but it just feels a little bit like we have more than enough followers. Naturally obedient. Although, I do have a lot, a lot of you. You know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go and uh, put some more seeds in this box here. And I build another um. Oh, we don't have enough gold bars for the Hecate, Hecate trophy. A crystal lantern. Yeah, buddy. Let's put the crystal lanterns next to the regular lanterns. I'm gonna put one on either side of my temple. Can I build a janitor's closet now? I really wanna build it. <laughs> we don't have enough gold bars. Yeah, we don't have enough gold bars. You know what? Just just do it. Just give me the gold bars. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go turn into mushrooms to this boy and then come back, preach a sermon, and we'll go to Anchorage. I can show you guys the new water area. I don't know what this guy's gonna give me, but Sozo is gonna give us something. I don't know what it is. He seems like he's brainwashed by mushrooms. Show me the ritual, Sozo. I, uh... I think I'm becoming high. Faith will be locked at full for two days. Perform a ritual to your temple that brainwashes all your followers. I feel like this is a trap, and the reason why I say I think this is a trap is because if you lock your, your faith and then two days go by, let's say you're doing like a long dungeon run. Yeah, they become sick, right? Not only that, but like if, they, if you don't give them food, that's a problem too, right? Because like they still need food by follower form. It's going to be a mushroom. Oh. 
it's a froggy. A new doctrine has been declared. Wawa. Wawa? Let's make sure that we get a meal out there so that our people don't uh sick. Actually we might be able to get to squeeze in another upgrade also right now. Our divine inspiration. But what was it what is it going to be? Oh, fertilizer silo. I guess that would be important, huh? To increase their loyalty. Propaganda speakers. That's cool, actually. Interesting. Yeah, I, well, because if I put in fertilizer soil in silo, then they'll just be able to do that themselves. And then the farms run themselves. Cult three. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can't build one of those. and put it on the other side. Anyway. We did want to preach a sermon. I still I want to bring back one of our more devoted followers. I think, unfortunately, one of these two folks is likely to expire soon. We do gain... Wow. We do gain another level. Yeah, Might of the Devout 3. That's the call. We get stronger weapons. Very good. We can add another Doctrine. Sustenance 3. We're almost maxed out, actually. Perform a ritual at your temple for which two days will make special fish more likely to appear while fishing. You also catch double the fish. That's cool. So we can like prompt our fishing. And then we can spend a day just fishing and then we can get a lot of fish. I love the sea, in fact. Okay. And now we can perform a couple of rituals. We can bring somebody back. We're going to bring back one of our most devoted followers. The question is, is it going to be Barbatos, Barbatos, or Elgibra? It's got to be Elgibra, El Pregre. <laughs> and then we might get Abducius back later. But we will, we will reward our most loyal followers with with this. I don't want to brainwash anybody. We want to ascend our weakest follower again and further boost our peeps. here for one day. Yeah, imagine imagine you become part of the cult and then after the first day like, yeah, we're going to ascend your soul and you just get raptured. But this game is is heavily insinuating that that because we're rapturing them that they're going forward to paradise and not like dying cold. If that makes sense. You. Yes take the commandment stone. Very, very cool. Now, can I not build this yet? I still can't build it. Can we now? Still can't. Still can't do it. Oh, yeah, we can. All right, cool. Then I will build this janitor closet kind of close to the outhouses. Right there. Some of our people are hungry. Let's go ahead and build a nice fish feast. It's a good one. And then two grassy gruel. 
three grassy gruel. <laughs> and now we move forward to Anchorage. Actually, why aren't they? Why are they not eating? I know some of my people are hungry. Okay, I was gonna say. Now, how many people does it require to open this last door over here? Twelve. Yeah, we do have enough. We could open the silk cradle, but for now, let's just go through. And uh, yeah, and we'll go to. Uh, sorry, Anchor Deep Anchorage. Anchor Deep. We should have stronger weapons available to us now, because we bought a new thing. Necromantic Dagger 10. And also we get... Cleansing Fire 10. Here we go! Hello? We offer our friend Rataus for a night of drinking and dicing. It's gonna be quite the party. Hey, I'm in. I'm in. Overboard. Talk about overplaying your hand. <laughs> I'm game. I'm game. I'm a little busy as the deity of a religion, but uh, <laughs> defeat Clunko and Bop at Knuckleballs. Oh! How dare you strike me? How dare you? How freaking dare you? This area is where you can pick up crystals, crystal shards, crystals, crystals, things like that. Crystals. That guy seems to drop explosive dealies. I beat the other guy. And there they were, countless before him, all equally pathetic and unworthy. Nothing humbles quite like disease. I cast a plague upon your cult. The last person tried to starve us out, and that didn't work. You really think a plague? That's not good. We'll die in a few days if not rested. Okay, well, we, we need to... We're gonna need to go solve that. I don't have time to deal with all this nonsense. The faster we can get there, the better. But we still need to win the area, too. I don't want to leave empty-handed. Otherwise, this was all for nothing. Really good tarot card. Yeah. More damage is really good. This tarot card is. More fervor. I appreciate it. Uh... go this way. We don't need that much slumber. We're just going to move on. I'm pretty sure this is fertilizer. The poop room. We definitely don't need too much of this. We'll move on. This person's really got some nerve doing this to me. upon my people. It's a good thing I built that janitor's closet too, otherwise it's going to be really freaking awkward. Divine Guardian, Path of the Righteous, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm actually going to go back. I'm pretty sure the tarot card's over here. Don't ask me why I think that. I just think that. God, this is going to be so stupid if it's over here. Okay. Okay. 
I will take them for a hammer. Eleven. Uh. I'm gonna hope that this enemy is a pushover. Man, I love the hammer. I love it. Still gotta get some of these crystals, I know. I know that people were probably in really bad shape back at home. We'll save them. Darkness within. We will save them, don't worry. We'll save our people. Oh, I wasn't worried. Oh, God. Smash you flat. Give us one more card. Oh, imagine a crit. Alright, come on. Oh, of course. Right away, get hit. Surprisingly close that one. I didn't think it was going to be a bullet wave immediately to start, so we got hit, but we did it fast. We did we did it quickly. I'll take the gold nuggets. The commandments don't. I'll take all of it. We gotta go back. We gotta send people to bed rest because they're sick. Cleanse the non-believers, so cool. I gotta start doing these things quick. Can't have people getting sick. Five people out ill. Oh, good. Okay. So you guys, you guys did take care of it. Don't worry, I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay. Zapar, direct. I wish to inspire you. We need some variety. Please, would you make us some fish dishes? Sure. I will perform the ocean's bounty ritual in your stead. Well, the good news is it looks like everybody went ahead and just, you know, took, to, handled it, handled their, they handled it. I'm proud of them. Make one more bed. We'll put it right there. Uh, lumber mill. We don't have enough money. We need more money. We need to go play knuckle bones. You're waiting for indoctrination into my cult, sir. Sure, sure, sure. You're welcome to join me and my people. You are going to tend the farms. People are grieving at the graves. So good. Yeah, 
we have we have respect. We have respect for the dead. We want to have nothing. We, we want to have respect for the dead. It's important. Some more planks. We're gonna need some more stone. How much is it for a refinery? I feel like every time I try to go to build a refinery, we don't have enough money. We always we're strapped. We're strapped for money. Do a full, full, full. Give me construct a new building. Okay. I think I'm gonna spend the day doing this fishing thing. First things first, sermon. go back to Anchor Deep. Anchor Deep seems like it's tough, but in a fair way. I know I'll say that now, and then we're gonna fight the main boss, and we're gonna say, no, never mind, just kidding. It's really hard. Oh. Let's do this ritual. As we pray and worship the ocean's bounty. Yes. It is important, my son. It is true. Alright, everyone. And last but not least, let's get some grassy gruel out there. I did the ritual, my son. Yes. Piece of a commandment tablet, you, same thing. You, same thing. Now we're going to go. We're going to go fish for the rest of today and the evening too. Oh, where am I going? Incorrect. Let's see how many special fish we're actually able to catch out here in the Pilgrim's Passage. Let's start out with the ones furthest away. Oh, some really good stuff. Hey, this way we can we can like really make some good meals. You never know; we might be able to turn in some of these fish for like other resources down the line. Two crabs. That's twenty dollars worth of crab right there. Make some nice, some nice dealies. Some nice meals. can make a whole red lobster out of this bitch. Teach a lamb to fish achievement. Yes, we're going to spend this time clearing out the rest of the fish here. You don't want the ritual to go to waste. I know this is going to be a little bit less exciting of these rooms, but... Than doing crusades anyway, but... This is part of the game. Part of the game is the fishing, uh... The fishing... Simulator. It is possible to exhaust the lake, by the way. And I don't mind exhausting the lake. Looks like we got a few more before we'll exhaust the lake. A lot of fish, a lot of them. For the ocean's bounty, the ritual. It's a good thing we keep bringing back Algebra, too, because he provides a lot of devotion just on his own. And I know, I know, that's not his name. Algebra or whatever.
but let's face it, his name is Algebra. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you differently. That man's name is Algebra. And we want to make sure that our cult knows math. I think that was a main lobster right there. And then we're gonna go we're gonna go play knuckle bones against these new people. We're gonna have a knuckle bones tournament. How many of you when Witcher 3 came out, did you guys just play nothing but Gwent? Cause I, that was me, so like I could spend the whole session just over there playing Knuckle Bones. Yeah, apparently the fishing thing lasts for a very long time. What? That's a big boy. That's a big boy. That's a main lobster. I have no money. Seems like there's no fish out now. Well, that's fine. We gotta go back to our our cult and make sure that we we actually bury this follower. We don't want people to be scared. And we are with, we are interested in bringing back Ajaras because Ajaras is is a worthy follower. Go preach a sermon. We might even get there. I know that it's a big jump, but no, we won't get there. We got like 28 points. We want to declare a new doctrine. Let's push work and worship to level four. Does one find peace and rest or glory in labor? Perform a ritual at your temple that allows followers to work through three days and nights without getting tired. Jesus. Uh, I mean, I don't think I need them to work that much harder. I think that we want... Gain 80 faith. I feel like this is a really good bailout in case things go really wrong. You can go, okay, well, no one has to work for a day. Could just push our faith all the way back up, even if people are starving and things like that. It's actually really strong. The generation speed of Rishrine by 20% for three days. Let's just see how far we can press this enlightenment ritual. you guys to see into your faith. Fenober no longer ill. I think we're going to get to do another level. We'll collect our divine inspiration, push ourselves up to cult three. Now we could get another upgrade over here like prisons, stockades, things like that, but uh, what's this? We don't need to increase the speed of our farm plots. Our farm plots are fine. All right, everyone. You guys are all part of something greater than yourselves. There we 
we go. Now they can do that. I could have swore there was one, yeah. The commandment tablet. There we go. Right, they're they are praying so hard right now. Uh And I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Okay. I don't think that I can do a... I don't think that I could do a ritual. To bring someone back yet. No, I can't. Alright, well we have 12 people. And those 12 people are pretty good. I don't really want to do a brainwashing ritual. But, uh... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Actually... Now that we have the bailout ritual, I feel a little bit more comfortable doing the brainwashing ritual. Let's go ahead and do it so that it finishes the quest line. Is everyone ready to get high on some shrooms? My friend Sozo showed me this one, and I told him it was dumb, but... He wanted me to do it. Some of you might feel a little weird after this. It's okay. It's about peace, love, and care, man. go play a couple games of knuckle bones while you guys all cool off a little and that'll probably be the last thing that we do for this episode is do a couple of games of knuckle bones and then uh, we'll call it a day Let's see if we can't beat some of these people we don't have money to bet though so we're just gonna have to hope that they're okay with not betting Let's play against Flinky. It's like Slinky, but with the F. We'll roll first. Alright. Knock out your five. Poor guy's getting really, really destroyed here at the table. I'm gonna sandbag his one. He can keep that one. Uh, yeah. Surprised that he didn't knock out both my fours. I'm gonna spread the, the wealth here. I'm trying to just fill, fill the, the grid at this point. Of all the dirty tricks here. All right, so the right hand side is locked up, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it locked up. Surprised he didn't put a five in the middle. I don't think they can they can win anymore. I don't think. I mean, if they roll a six, then that's another story. But I think this is it. Yeah, this is it, right? Yeah. They can't win anymore. Close, surprisingly, though. Immune to poison. Another tarot card. Funko and Bop, would you like to play a game? The lamb rolls first. Yeah, friend. A two, right in the middle. Ha! For a five on either side. If I could lock out that left-hand side with better value than the opponent, then that would be great. And if he wants to, to double down my twos, he's more than welcome to do so.
I would really like to just clean out the table. Oh, no, that's... that's... Mm -mm. Okay, well... That's fine, bud. I could play this four over there on the left and knock out his four. But I feel like... I feel like it's okay. Oh, that was a mistake. Man, oh man. Well... It is what it is, really. I think they're gonna beat us. I really do. I think they're gonna beat us. Yeah, they beat us. Dang, we got destroyed out here. Well, we just started rolling a bunch of threes. We got three threes in a row. Not, not in a row, but... Hey. It, it was too greedy, in my opinion, to... Yeah, all right, well... I want to go ahead and make him unreasonably difficult by giving me a bunch of low numbers. What an interesting choice. Yeah, I don't have a problem leaving him with six points in the middle. Okay. Yeah, we can we kind of comfortably put sixes there now. Now, if we get another six, I feel like... Okay, well... <laughs> this game's got a sense of humor! It's not going to give me a six. It's just not going to give me a six. It's not going to give me a six. Well, we could take, off, take him off his two fours. I mean, we can't... Where are our fives and our sixes, game? <laughs> uh, I mean, if he wants to push the grid to close, I mean, isn't that it? If we put a well, but if they roll a six, then they'll beat us, right? So we have to we have to extend the game. Yeah, they were going to roll a six. They were going to roll a six right now. All right, well, I think we win now. They would have won, by the way, if they put a six all the way on left. We didn't roll another six for the rest of that whole match, which is really, really kind of frustrating. We rolled like five dice and we didn't get a, a six. Okay. You know, before we wrap up, let's go ahead and do one more Crusade run. Let's go ahead and do one more run. Let's do one more run. Look at all these fucking <laughs> Looney Tunes. Golly, that Enlightenment ritual is something else. They, they filled up the totem during the time that we played Knuckle Bones. Let's summon some demons. Targets a random enemy and explodes this phenob phenober. Alright, Jular. You were brought back for one reason and one reason only. To sacrifice yourself. Alright. Let's go push Anchor Deep one more bevel in. They're gonna try to do something to our cult to dissuade us from doing it. Vampiric Sword.
10. The good news is that because my people are all brainwashed, it's not likely that they will feel the effects. Gotta get rid of this bishop, he's healing them. That guy rolled, he dodge rolled me, like Dark Souls. What a big old caca! I do want to eventually level up my curses so that I have five. I do wish that there was an easier way for me to tell like which way the tarot card guy is at or what have you. I know that that's part of it is it's supposed to waste my time so that the people back home like get sick and get tired or whatever. But I'll take a run for uh, some weak tarot cards. I could be I gotta lie to you. I got some weak tarot cards. Would you like an extra max half heart that does nothing really? Or a black heart? They're basically the same thing, but one strictly better. Double the coins. Yes, please. We that's that's something we desperately need. Yeah, I could use some grass. I mean, we. We're in a grass-fed country. Grass-fed. Double the gold. Yes. Oh! Are you a friend of, uh... Bauda? Bauda? Blimbo's open Lobby, for business. Bye -bye. They'll let you whistle come down to the sanctuary. Plenty of time, legally acquired goods. Come on down. Smuggler Sanctuary. We bring illegal goods. Illegal. It's only illegal if you get caught. Are those predictive spikes? I don't like that. Only the finest of dirt. I like how we found the dirt road last. Predictive spikes. Thirty percent more damage at night. It is night. Probably won't get there in time, though. But hey, it is what it is. It's only illegal if you get caught. Yes. It seems you cannot be stopped by disease or hunger, and he sends you back from death stronger each time. Please know, it was not my idea to cast out the Red Crown. The other bishops, my siblings, and the blame lies with them. Really? Spare me. Kill Shimura, but do not send me to my death. Do not send me to him. You will not find my temple. I will be safe there. It's interesting. So big ol' Calamari man is begging for his life. He believes that we have the ability to kill him, and we do, actually. We could kill him. Now, maybe we should spare him. Maybe we should spare him. We 
die, but we'll keep our stuff. Those red hearts gain diseased hearts. Yes, please. With pleasure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't like this room. Don't like it. Not a good room. Not a good room for scuffed. Ugh! What? How did that hit us? How did that hit us, game? Oh, okay. Uh, when he stands back up, that counts as hurting you? Okay, well, I mean, sure. Fair. Glad that we gained those disease hearts, because apparently we were going to get hit twice in one room by a basic enemy. <laughs> it's like the game heard me say, oh, we probably won't die. Yeah, hyper armor for my attacks. The middle of day 38. Tonic! I'll take a thing. I'll take a. I'll take a soul heart. I really don't want to die because I don't know what happens to my weapons if I die. Like my uh, my followers, you know, like will one of them bite the dust? That's what I don't want to happen. That's cool. It's a crystal lantern from Anchor Deep. All right. We move on to the boss. Although Kalima or whatever his name is, is like, please spare me, I don't want I mean no harm. I'll think about it. That enemy had already attacked. I don't know why you got a follow up attack. Very weird game. All right. We go into the fight with not necessarily the worst amount of bonus damage. Oh! I really need to get the upgrade that says my roll deal damage, because then we would be able to maybe roll through some of these rubble. That that's one of my biggest issues right now is I can't roll through rubble without getting hit. Bales above. We're gonna die against this enemy. Oh well, that's what happens. That's what happens when you get a little complacent. Oh well, folks. 
This has been Cult of the Lamb. I hope you enjoyed watching so far. I'm going to go ahead and continue trucking along in my own time. Open up Silk Road. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll go ahead and see what happens when we get to the end of Anchor Deep. Do we actually have to spare the guy? Let us know. Your death has made your followers believe that you're weak. Oh well. So long, everybody. <laughs>